Okay, hello everyone, this is a lot of sweetness here, 2011. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create my new signature logo that I just made not too long ago. To create this, I made a new a new image size and made sure my foreground color was a red and made the image size 640 by 4 400 pixels. Now after you have that there, create a text layer. And in that text layer, type in LOS for lots of sweetness. Click close and make sure the color of the text here is a black color. And I'm going to spread these letters apart just a little bit and you can do so by just clicking here okay now after you have that there I'm going to up the size just a little bit more okay now that you have that there you need to go to layer layer to image size Now what you want to do is create a new layer. And just press create new layer. And I'm going to type in 2000 and 11. And press close and change that color to a green. Kind of fairly a darker green than a real rather than a lime green, but and I'm going to scale that down. Cuz it's it's a little a little big and I'm going to spread them out just a little bit. Okay, now that you have that there, go to layer, layer to image size. Now, with the 2011 layer selected, right click that layer, go to alpha to selection, and go to select, grow, and grow by two pixels. Now take your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is white and just color in the border the grown border that we made a second ago and you'll have that there now go to select none now go to LOS text layer and right click that and alpha to selection once again. Now go to select grow once again and make that by three pixels I think. Yeah three pixels is fine. And once again make sure you click your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is white and just click in the the grown border that we just created and make that white just like so and merge these two layers down after doing so then go to select none to get rid of those flashing lines and after you have that there go to your background color and change it to black press ok and just change your background color. Now go to your your text layer and go to filters light and shadow lens flare and just place this somewhere around in the middle of the O. That's where I have it so and just press OK. And then with that there, 
I'm going to move this layer up just a little bit. Gets a little close to the bottom. Okay, now, actually move that up just a little bit more. Okay, now that I have that there, go to layer, layer to image size. And you want to duplicate this layer, your text layer. And in that layer, go to your perspective tool and just simply click in the art and drag that down. and drag this corner down as well and you'll see this flip over it's kind of tedious to get it straight okay after you have that there press transform and move this layer up until you get close to the bottom of the original text layer and then go to with that layer selected go to filters blur gaussian blur and blur the image by yeah three by three pixels and press ok now all you need to do is with that layer selected excuse me didn't mean to click that change the opacity just turn it down and I turned it down to 35.9 and that seems good enough and there you have it that's how you create my new logo my new signature logo for my channel that I have and you uh, can create this pretty fairly easy it didn't take me long to create it and like I say I appreciate you watching my videos and I look forward to getting a little more comments than I'm getting because actually I do not have any but that's alright as long as I'm helping out people I'm okay but just comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe because I, I'm making plenty more videos where this um, where this is simple I can make more advanced too so thanks for watching everyone this is a lot of sweetness here Adios.